Hi everybody, my name is Debbie Barnhart, owner of Cornell Farm, and I am really excited to have you be enthusiastic about planting in the fall. This is really the best time of year to plant, not only for the plant's sake, but for the person's sake, because it's cooler and everything's going to settle in more generously and not as crazy like in the spring when the top is trying to grow and the roots are trying to grow at the same time. Fall is perfect for trees, shrubs, perennials, uh, shrubs like camellias, for instance, like this one right here. Um, Yuletide has been a favorite for years. It's deep, deep red, and they now have a, has a sister uh, called Pinkaboo, uh, which is pink. And so here we are. Um, we have a container. We're going to do a container with a camellia planting just to show you how easy it is to plant in your garden as well as in a pot, the, the process is the same, uh, almost. Uh, we have our soil here. Um, this potting soil by Edna's Best is really great. So then you just fill the container with soil up to the bottom of the root ball that we see over here on the side in this pot. So this will be the bottom of the root ball in the bottom of this pot. So I'm gonna just test it out to start with. You wanna end up with the, the top of the soil in the pot to end up about two inches from the top of the pot. So when you water, the soil doesn't just pour out. So I'm dropping this in to see how that turns out. And as you can see, this soil level here is about, it's about an inch to there and it's another about an inch to here. So that's perfect. So then I'm gonna take this back out and then I'm gonna make sure to add this wonderful fertilizer, organic fertilizer that we have called SureStart. This is a fabulous uh, fertilizer that has all kinds of mycorrhizae in it. Those are natural microbes that live in the soil they don't live in your potting soil um, and what they do is just increase the vigor, take away the transplant shock and have a slow release fertilizer over uh, several months. So now we're going to just uh, loosen the soil of this container. You should never just yank on the stem of anything to pull it, pull it out of a pot. Um, that can really damage the roots and sometimes it'll even break off. So once you've loosened it, it should just easily pull out completely. And if you look at the roots on this, these are not circling. They are just barely coming out to the edge. They are to the bottom of the pot, which is wonderful. Um, but they're not compacted in any way. So there's no reason to do anything to these roots other than when you drop it in and you're centering it, you might just rough up a little bit just by scratching the edge with your fingers to get the roots to start going in a different direction besides down. You want them to root out into the container. Okay, so the next thing would be to fill around the edges so that all the roots are covered. Uh, with soil and before I do that though I have an idea that I'd like to explore for spring and have this wonderful surprise come out of the top of the pot in the spring after the blooms have gone. We have this beautiful little dwarf tulip and these wonderfully warm sunny crocus that will make this excellent combination in the spring. Uh, they're both about the same size so that means they could be planted together on the same level. If you had fatter bulbs, you would put them below these and these would be above them. But uh, just so long as they don't touch, that's the only thing you need to keep in mind when you're putting them in your container. But my soil level is about down here and that seems a little deep for these little bulbs. So I'm gonna add some soil. I'm 
just going to kind of throw these around. I'm not even going to pay attention to up or down. I'm going to mix them up so that there's no, it's very random. Um, it doesn't, I think it looks more natural when they aren't just every other one or soldiers in a row. So now I'm going to just fill it back to the top of the soil level of the camellia and we'll be done except for watering it in. And when you water it in, you want to water all the way around so that everything is getting evenly moist around the top and you will stop watering when the water starts to drip out the bottom. Then you know that you did get the whole soil medium moist. This can sit straight outside in the elements without any problem. This is a very tough, hardy plant here in the Northwest. Um, so it could be anywhere. Um, if it's out in the rain, all this foliage above is going to catch some of that rain and it won't all get into the pot. So the ideal thing is to actually stick your finger into the soil to your second knuckle and determine, does it feel wet or does it feel dry? And it should definitely feel dry before you water. Um, camellias are woody plants and they don't need tons of water um, every day or once a week even in the winter. Same thing if you're planting in the ground, shovel it up to the depth of the, only to the depth of the root ball, not any deeper. This is new science now that says dig your hole slightly wider but no deeper than the root ball. And uh, then just backfill with nat natural soil, two-thirds natural soil, one-third compost if it's a very heavy soil. But if you aren't able to dr dig your own holes or just want the convenience of having somebody else take care of that, Cornell Farm has a planting service for you. We will come out and plant anything that you buy from us uh, in the ground wherever you wish us to, uh, as long as we feel it's in the right spot. Um, compatible with the plant and uh, otherwise if you aren't sure where you should have it planted we have a fabulous design service um, through our coaching service and consultation so all the bases are covered whatever level you'd like it to be I hope you've enjoyed this video and happy planting this fall and this glorious season happy planting everybody